frequency, and it, uh, it is not static in a time sense, but it has similar behavior like, like a static electricity, which I will show you at the video from my experiment, that this device actually works. So uh, here I have, okay, I have, the, I have my device that is in the logic similar to that. I, I thought about this. So the tower is reversed. I can do it with uh, small models. And uh, the electric field is somehow similar with that one. We can check this out with the animation. It, uh, on the below, there is some kind of uh, distortion, but on the top, we have practically the same the geometry. I don't need to show the point, pointing vector. It's the same like before or similar. And when we have two of these devices, I must stop because we have stop animation because we will load the computer now. It is difficult to calculate this to the computer. Okay, that's one. We have, uh, I made simulation of two of my devices. They are uh, tuned to the resonance at the same frequency, and we will get some animation. So let's see, uh, just a second. I'm not on the right screen, I guess. Just a minute. Okay, this one. Okay, animation here. Okay, that's the one. So this is how do they, uh, they work when they do power transfer one to each other. Look at the current through the Earth. It's not zero but it's close to. So uh, the earth is not used as a true conductor. Uh, the resistance of the earth uh, will not make much losses to this uh, transfer of the energy. Uh, look at the transmitter and the currents. It has a little bit yellowish, oranges, so the current is somewhere in this range. In the receiver, current is even stronger. And uh, how do they connect? They, uh, they connect to each other to the space because the charge is here and charge is there, so the repulsive force. At each time, they are pushed from the earth above, so each charge is repulsed to each uh, when they see them above the earth, and then again at the same time push the charge back. So the current uh, goes down and down here at the same time. This is how it works when it works in a normal mode. It can work in the other mode when uh, there is a plus here and minus there, but this is only one-to-one -one connection. So this, this connection is meant to be to have one transmitter and many receivers, and the other one works better, but it is used only for one uh, transmitter and one receiver. It cannot be three of them. And my device was, uh, was done. Uh, from the plastic bottles. I have pictures of that uh, somewhere about, wait a minute. My device, oh. Ta -ta -ta. Uh, experiment. That was actually six years ago. I started with a plastic bottle like that, and then I made this wound coil here and al aluminum foil up there. So I first connected that to the scope and the signal generator in order to find the resonance. Uh, resonance uh, was found about one megahertz in this prototype. Uh, when this is at resonance, driven by 10 volts sine wave, uh, 10 volts, 10 milliampere, nothing more, it can, it can light this. This is not touched to the top of the aluminum foil. It can even drive the neon lamp to, to light like that. So in the dark, a neon, light can, can, a neon lamp can be inside. The <laughs> it's so strong electric field. This one uh, it creates so much electric field that you don't need to connect it to any place around. It even doesn't need any metallic contacts. You can uh, have only neon lamp with, uh, with uh, fluorescent coating and the gas inside. This is enough to be driven by this device. That one. And the uh, actual transfer of the energy is like that. So this one is transmitter. And this is the LED diodes connected to the ground. 
at the receiver, so they light. That's what, that was my first experiment when I observed the effect. These LED diodes can light at, a, of course, smaller intensity at the room 10 meters away. I have uh, another improved type, to, uh, type of geometry like that. This is the second, one, second experiment. This one can, uh, can as well do the same things and drive the... Uh, these things now drive very greater. <laughs> Uh, here, here, is, uh, here is the receiver that has LED connected to the ground, uh, an LED works like that, and as well the receiver itself creates some kind of electric field, is the same that you have seen at the simulation. Both transmitter and receiver has some electric field. I have a video, but just a second, video is on the other application. <coughs> Wait a minute, I must prepare a place when to stop that. Okay. So this is me. At <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, just a second. I must, I must, huh? Okay. This is when you can light your face probe away from that. Okay, we can go to the receiver. It's down there. Uh, so we will see for the, uh, in the, be at the beginning what does it uh, if we disconnect the ground. These are LEDs, and I first check uh, how much the field do we have at the receiver. Not much. Uh, this neon don't, but this one does. So it has some weaker effect, but it has some. Okay, you can see, I guess. And that is LED, we will like that, okay. And we can connect the ground, I will touch the ground myself. And LEDs will light little, but it will light. Watch me touching the ground, and LED will, will slowly glow, it's difficult to see, but you know, ground is better when, but okay, some objects like people or uh, chairs or something can as well serve as some kind of a ground with a weaker result. So I think uh, this is uh, from my experiment. Uh, I, can, I have some more pictures about the, how does it work uh, when, uh, when at, the f at the my third experiment. Let me check somewhere is here, I think. All right. OK, this is in our club uh, in Hack Club. Uh, this is, uh, both of them have connect, are connected to the radiator. So this is an oscillator with a transmitter box. The transmitter, uh, lights, uh, lamps can light in close, uh, closeness of that. And there is a receiver. So uh, the normal uh, fluorescent tube is inside and it lights. That is from my experiment. I know there is one experiment as well, even tonight. Uh, people will make a, a musical Tesla coil in front of the BCC. So some more experiment can be seen as well today. Uh, but not the energy transfer, because they have only one coil. But probably if you have another coil, you should receive some energy too. <laughs> Uh, do you have maybe some questions? Of course. Give me a mic, please. Give. Uh, what?